Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today we are doing a beautiful uh, red blend, Black Cloud. Um, it's actually Cloud Break Winery, Black Cloud, Red Blend, California, 2018. Nice looking label. See something's gone, I have not tasted it yet. This went into my... Um, I'm making over here some delicious beef stew, cubed sirloin, two kinds of mushrooms, heavy on the mushrooms. I got this wine in there, beautiful brown sauce. It's going to be so good. But I haven't tasted it. I used it for the sauce there. Um, $9.99, not very expensive. Before we get started, though, I need your help. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. I do wines, liquors, liqueurs, beers, coffee. Got something for everybody. Beautiful, beautiful playlist, so easy to find. I did the uh, Cloud Break Chardonnay, it's under my Chardonnay playlist. This will be attached, we'll have my red blend uh, playlist. What is in here? Merlot, Grenache, Zinfandel, and Ruby Red. Now, Merlot. They say this is a full bodied uh, wine, this is in there. We'll see. Uh, grilled meats, barbecue, delicious. Uh, stew that I'm making, uh, mushroom stew, mushroom beef with the sirloin. <laughs> but before we get into that, Merlot, pretty mild grape, could be kind of bold, but nothing like Cabernet. A lot of times it's mixed with a Cabernet. You can certainly get 100% Merlot or 75% Merlot. Uh, in the U.S., it only has to be 75% varietal to be considered that to get that varietal name. Anyway, I'd call that a medium-bodied. Grape, Grenache, hmm. more like a Pinot Noir, so we're going down a little bit on the boldness. Zinfandel, dark in color, jammy, uh, very good grape. But now we got an interesting thing on that, Ruby Red, I'm not too familiar with it because I know it's developed as a hybrid in 1958, uh, grown in California. Uh, it's a blend of two uh, Portuguese grapes. Really? Let's get into it. Oh, this is 13.5% uh, alcohol. Got to save some. I use some for cooking and I got to drink the rest with it. So I'm going to put that over there. Alright, there it is. Certainly not pitch black. Dark ruby. Ooh, nice. Mmm, nice dark berries and dark fruit with some cherry mixed in. It's got, a, it's got a pleasant uh, and some spice. Hmm. Very nice with the dark fruits, the cherry, and the spice. Very nice. And I don't mean hot spice. I mean like cinnamon, nutmeg, that type of spice. Let's give it a taste. It's very smooth. Mm. Again, like if you took a blend of uh, all the, the dark juices of blackberries, plums, maybe some, maybe some raspberries, blueberries, whatever, and some cherry juice and mixed it all together. Not sweet, but just that that kind of taste with a kiss of oak on the back of it. Mm. Maybe left a little residual sugar in there. A little bit of. I don't think most people think it's sweet, but I could detect a little bit of sweetness goes well with the berries. Um. This this uh, this this can be sipped by itself. It's not so bold. The tannins are soft, real soft. You got them a little bit, but they're not drying you out. It's more of the perceived sweetness from all the fruit and a little kiss of uh, residual sugar in there. Mm, it's an easy drinker. It's going to go good with the stew, but <clears throat> then it would go good with, you know, kind of 
especially meat pizza, meat pasta sauce, on and on and on, anything with meat. Anything grilled, even grilled chicken. Um, with that smoky flavor. But surprisingly, uh, not surprisingly, when you look at the makeup of the grapes, but this goes well uh, just by itself, just as a sipper. So I'm going to sit this uh, aside and just leave it uncorked and I will finish this with dinner. Alright everybody, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my amazing playlists. I'm telling you, I'm telling you there's something for everybody on those playlists. Uh, there's stuff there that you like and you don't even know it yet. And just give me that sub, keep me motivated, highly motivated, and I will see you all on the next one.